Sebastian, I'm guessing you must have some pretty wonderful memories of this place winning the championship here. Does it, what's it feel like coming back here, especially for the last time in a Formula One car at least? Yeah, really good memories. I mean, great moments racing, great moments after the race. Um, so yeah, I think it has just something special about this place. It creates great races. Um, so yeah, looking forward to the, the weekend and hopefully we are you know, a bit more competitive than we were in Mexico. Now I want to ask about the, the helmet you're going to have for Abu Dhabi. Uh, I think if I'm right, people can log on to an auction site, they can bid to have their photo on your helmet. What was Correct. the thinking behind that? Well, it was sort of, you know, trying to find a way to say thank you to, uh, you know, for the support in all these years and trying to take some, I can't take everybody, but <laughs> a thousand uh, people with me um, to do the last laps, to do the final lap. And uh, yeah, it runs out today, the auction, because then the helmet needs to be painted. Of course, yeah. uh, so it's a bit of, bit of a job, but um, yeah, looking forward to obviously uh, carry all these people uh, around uh, with me around the track and everybody who was bidding but didn't make it onto the helmet will still be mentioned on the web page so the picture will be seen there so um, yeah I think it was was an idea and I think it's uh, it's it looks like it's coming together nicely hey Yuki good to see you um, how are you feeling about you. racing in Brazil for the second time in a row um, yeah, look, looking forward to it and I will say have more ideas from FB1 how to drive, you know, how to drive here. Uh, as, well, last year I a little bit struggled, a little bit uh, different situation. It was only one free practice and straight in qualifying, which was first, first, uh, first time in Brazil. It was a bit tricky for me, but this year I know, you know, I know each kind of corner is how to drive. So, look very looking forward to it and uh, hopefully the pace for here will be good will be good for us, especially spring, spring qualifying format, you know, have a bit of more extra points for us. And especially we're fighting for, you know, at least P8 or P7 uh, midfield uh, team championship. So hopefully we can put it all together and uh, score points as much as possible. Now I know Mexico obviously didn't go as well as you would have hoped, but I was reading that you were saying that tyre management wise, it was the strongest of the year. Do you really feel like everything's starting to come together quite a lot now and those kind of skill sets? I would say, yeah, um, I was pretty happy about time management, what I, I was doing in uh, Mexico. Um, and I started to know each compound, you know, how the car, how the tire is going to behave in age conditions. So this is really important for the, you know, for the future. Um, well, it's going to be a little bit diff different, I was tire spec next year, but I'm um, still, um, I would say it's a good, good step that we were able to find the uh, um, kind of ideas for about tires. So hopefully put it, we can put it all together, uh, those things. And um, yeah, look, pretty, having good confidence I can, we can achieve that. George Fend, I think that's probably helped us. Um, oh, <laughs> it's very cosy here today. It's very cosy. Um, and that's Great stuff. Thank Thanks, you. George. Good luck. Um, Great stuff. Have fun. Thanks. Thanks. Nicky, two races to go for this season. How are you kind of approaching them? Uh, I mean, to be honest, the same way I've been approaching it since since I found out the news that it wasn't continuing, kind of going into Singapore. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's really just trying to again enjoy enjoy every opportunity and just try and make the most of uh, of whatever comes. Um, yeah, obviously coming into this weekend, there's let's say the hope that the weather can can play a bit of a part, which obviously has a little bit of an extra let's say, excitement for everyone, and I guess a little bit of an extra excitement for us because you know realistically that gives us let's say well not gonna say give us a better chance but gives us more opportunity let's say uh so i'm obviously hopeful of that but uh yeah the weekend uh, as you said it's it's now coming getting closer to the end there so there's um yeah two races left so just trying to enjoy it how are things shaping up for next year i know there aren't that many <laughs> nothing else to add no, no uh, yeah I, I i don't have uh anything else really to to say still um you know, considering the options, as I've been saying for for a few weeks now, I haven't decided anything to be honest yet. I haven't signed anything, uh, so yeah, nothing to report. But do you feel like you've got unfinished business with Formula One? Um, yeah, I mean, d definitely. I, I mean, I would. Uh, I've I've said many times that I would, you know, love to stay in Formula One. It's where where I want to be. It's where I want to be racing. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not happening next year. And you know, realistically, is there a, a chance of a return on the cars? I think uh, realistically probably not. Uh, I mean, if the opportunity comes up, I mean, definitely I would, I would jump at it. But I think that's just the, the honest situation of, of where everything's at at the moment. So, um, yeah. Great stuff. Thanks, thank you. Thanks.